Hello everyone. Hope you are all fine. Now uh, we are going to discuss about the topic plant growth and seed germination. Now we all know that a very small structure known as seed is the basement of, or it is the starting of any flowering plant. What is seed? Seed is nothing but a mature ovule containing a embryo, containing an embryo. This, this, uh, the formation of seed is a special characteristic in both angiosperms and gymnosperms. In gymnosperms, we have naked seed. In angiosperm, the seed is covered with the fleshy, or it has uh, the fleshy outer covering, which is we call as fruit. So, seed is present inside the fruit. This seed germinates into a seedling, and over a period of time, it grows into a, a big plant. Now seed germination. Seed is a miniature of a plant body. To grow a plant, the base is the seed. So the plant grows only when there is a seed. We cannot have a plant from any anything else, right? And uh, why? Because why the seed has an embryo which is active when it is getting the particular or uh, favorable circumstances. Now how the seed grows? Seed grows, seed germinates. First thing is, it absorbs the water to the micropylar region. As it absorbs water, it swells up, and inside that, the embryo, the seedling becomes active. As it becomes active, it pushes the seed coat outwards, and the seed coat breaks. Then the radical comes out. So you can see a picture of seed here. There are two cotyledons. It is a dicot plant. Two cotyledons. You can see the embryonal axis, which consists of epicotyle, which is under the plumule, that is below the plumule, and above the cotyledons. You can have the radical, which will give rise to roots, and above that hypocotyle, which is attached to the cotyledons, and the seed coat, which is covering the seed. So this is this is the structure of the seed. There are two types of seed germination: epigeal and hypogeal. What is epigeal and hypogeal? Epigeal. In the case of epigeal, the cotyledons are pushed upwards because of the elongation of hypocotyle. Very important. When the hypocotyle elongates, it pushes the cotyledon upwards. Now I told you, hypocotyle is a region. Below the cotyledons, that means the stem leaves. Below the stem leaves, that there is a part known as hypocotyle, which is above the radical. So when the hypocotyle elongates, it pushes the cotyledons upwards. Then the cotyledons comes out, and we can see the cotyledons uh, coming out as green from the seedling. That means it is a uh, it is a starting of a seedling, which is very common in dicots. Example: cucumber, tamarind, etc. In the case of hypogeal, here the epicotyle, which is above the cotyledons, above the stem leaves, it elongates and pushes a plumule upwards. In uh, I have shown you the diagram where epicotyle, you can see it is below the plumule. So when it for epicotyle elongates, it pushes the plumule upwards. So in this case, the cotyledons remains in the soil, and after some time, it dries off and falls off. Here the cotyledons are not green. Now, as you can see here, it is very common in monocots. Example: wheat, coconut, etc. Epigeal germination in castor seeds. You can see a seed. It is growing, and the hypocotyle is elongating. That means there is a elongation of hypocotyle, which is Pushing the cotyledons upwards, and the cotyledons are coming out. You can see the cotyledons is above the soil surface, and the new leaves are germinating. We will take an example of gram seed for hypogeal germination. In this case, the epicotyle elongates and pushes the plumule upwards, which the uh, which will later on give rise to the new seedling. In this case, the cotyledons will not come up. It will remain in the soil or on the surface, and later on it dries off and falls out in the soil. 
There is a special type of seed germination. In marshy places, seed germinates when it is inside the fruit. Already they are attached to the parent plant. Now, in marshy plant, this places you can see that the salt content in the soil is very very high. So, to resist or uh, for that adaptation only, this type of character are present in marshy places. So, see it germinates within the fruit while attached to the parent plant. This special type of feature is known as vivid pari. In this case, the radical just elongates inside the root, inside the seed and as it grows, the weight of the seed increases. So, and then it increases, the seedling falls down and uh, as it falls on the mud, it starts to grow. So, lateral roots will be uh, just going to start or form and it fixes in the soil, the plant grows. So, this is a very, very, very important adaptation in the halophytes. For example, in Visophora, Visenia, etc.